This is exciting. This is very exciting. Hey, it's Rory with SearchingChart.com. Today, I have a very, very special unboxing for you. As you can see, the box is already like super wild. It's not like a normal phone box. Now, we all know that Oppo, you know, they do a really good job with their like one-off limited edition smartphones. So they, they have one for like Gundam. They have one for, um, what was the other one? Uh, the Avengers. They also had one for Neon Genesis Evangelion. Um, you know, and they all look like freaking awesome. Like at least most of them did. We didn't really get to unbox all of them, but the ones that we saw were pretty awesome. So now, now this year, in conjunction with the 2020 League of Legends World Championship, they also have a limited edition, special edition, I don't even know what you want to call this, Oppo Find X2 uh, World's Special Edition. <laughs> um, and this is it. So uh, I believe only 3,000 units will be made. Uh, and we have one right here. So Oppo Malaysia sent one over for us to check out. So thank you, Oppo Malaysia. And I'm really excited. So, I mean, first off, let's just get started. Okay, so this box, okay, this box looks nuts. It's supposed to be designed to look like a Hextech uh, chest, which is like, you know, uh, League's version of like the Gacha box. Lah. And it has like special design. So it says Oppo with the world's logo on the top. It has like takeover at the bottom corner over here, which is the theme of this year's worlds with the song. Uh, and then there's also, of course, the world's logo with the Find X2 uh, phone there. The good thing about this box though, is that you don't have to farm key fragments to make a key to open it. You can just pop the lid. So that's what I will do now. Oh, it's a hefty boy. Ah, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. that's like, damn. So you can see this is the box. It says take over right here. Um, besides that, it looks like we can just peel it open. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that's the phone. So there's like this uh, string action here that I think uh, it's, it's like a very sort of old school way of just like raising the platform. It's apparently designed to look like, I think the Nexus crystal when it first starts. You know how it comes up from a Nexus? I don't know, that's what it says in the brochure, but... I gotta say, it's a, it's, it's a, cool, a cool way to open a box. So this is the phone. And look at it. Oh, look at that. Oh. So I don't know if you if you know this, but um, I, when, when I first saw the takeover uh, music video, I saw like the end frame faker was watching Worlds um, on a phone because you know this year he didn't get to go. Um, so he was watching Worlds on a phone, and I was like, oh my god, that phone looks familiar. So like I took screenshots and then I wrote a post about it. I was like, is it the Find X2 Pro? And then somebody pointed out that the camera was not the the, the correct lineup. So oh, it had to be the Find X2. So I. I posted and I, I reached out to open. I was like, hey, got phone ah? Is there like a real phone? They, at that time, they were like being like hush hush about it. But yeah, this is, this is pretty much the phone. This is it. This color, exact, almost exactly the same actually. Uh, maybe it looks a bit less magical in person, but it is a really, really sort of trippy colorway. So this is called, I think, Misty Blue, um, which I mean, it's not, not a fan of the name, but the colorway looks really nice. I like the gold accents. Uh, I actually like like the the gold camera bump also, which is which is rare. Normally, I find that stuff garish, but it works here. The the color scheme definitely works here. So we'll put the phone aside first, and let's see what else is in the box. So we'll pop this. Oh, <laughs> one of my favorite things about this is this piece. So that is the SIM eject tool, but for this phone, because it's League of Legends themed. They've modeled it after a ward. That's so awesome. Oh my god. I mean, it's ginormous and horribly impractical, but... Dude, this is sick. Like, so, like, you know? Yeah, you can stick it into stuff and... and yeah, I'm warding, see? Also included here is... What's this? This is like a... It's like a card. So it says one of 3,000. So that's... That's, I guess that's the one of the 3,000 phones that they'll be made. And behind there's like some Chinese text which <laughs> I cannot read. If you can read, have me translate and leave them in the comments below. Inside here, there is also a bunch of other stuff. So you've got the uh, power brick, 
which has the Demacia logo on it. Personally, not a fan of Demacia. They are, uh, I mean, if you're following the lore, they seem pretty sh uh, And behind, you have the takeover text also, um, you know, same theme. And of course, it comes in this blue and gold, but it's not metal, it's plastic. So this is, I believe, a Super Vuk charger. Uh, 65 watts, yeah, so it's super fast, um, but this is, has like the China pin because, you know, it's a, it came fresh from China. Also included is a pair of limited edition headphones. Uh, these are included in the box, so I believe since it doesn't have a headphone jack, this should be USB-C. It's USB-C uh, and on the headphone end, it's a, it's a classic text of uh, TakeOver and the world logo. Uh, but I don't think the the headphones are specialized. It's got like special design. Moving on, what else do we have? So this is a pretty big box. So this oh this should be the case. Also included, aha, uh -huh, is a special. Let me get the sticker off. Limited edition phone case. Um, so it's supposed to have like this X pattern design, so that when you snap it onto your phone, you still get to see like the the logo and the colors on the inside with like the X, which I guess is like find X, but I don't think I'll be using this. I'm not a fan of cases, generally. Besides that, what else do we have? Ah, oh, this is the cable. So do you get a nice braided power cable. It's a uh, same blue and gold color scheme. Uh, of course, this is also the cable that you have to use if you want to take full advantage of the um, SuperVook fast charging because it's a proprietary standard, so you don't get to use like any other cable. Looks like there's nothing else. The rest of it is just it's just the mechanism. See, if I push this in, the box closes. Let's talk about the phone. So this phone, so basically, like in essence, it's an it's an Oppo Find X2. So that means you get the same kind of specs and performance. It has a it is powered by a Snapdragon 865 processor, mated to 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage. There is a 6.7 inch display up front, which I will now turn on for you. So this is a 120 hertz uh, display. So you get super fast refresh rate. It's OLED. It is dual curve. There is a punch hole. It's a kind of screen, okay? Um, there's also a triple camera set up at the back. Uh, you've got a 48 megapixel main camera, 12 megapixel ultra wide, and a 13 megapixel telephoto camera. Uh, it's not quite like the Find X2 Pro, which has like the periscope thing. This one's more like the normal. I think it still does 20 times uh, max zoom, so that's still pretty awesome. Um, but of course, they've added a couple of touches. As you can see, first of all, this is the home screen. So you get like this active wallpaper. You know last time when League clients used to have like the animated wallpapers. This is basically the idea here. Uh, you get Ezreal uh, on, on this front screen. See his hair is like moving. You can see the animated hair. Um, but he's also like the wallpaper and stuff. Um, and then you get custom icons. So like an entirely new custom icon pack that is like league themed. You can see all the different icons that are specially designed to be like league themed. I'm not really a fan of it. I think it's a bit abing. <laughs> um, but I mean, if you like this kind of aesthetic, then great lah. Because for me, the problem with this uh, theme pack is that it, it, it's not very clear, like the clarity is not very there. Um, then there's also the clock, which is apparently modelled after the victory screen from um, League. Like, I don't know what that looks like because I will usually see the red colour defeat one. Uh, and then if you want to change like your wallpapers, so you can cycle between a whole bunch of different champions. So there's like, um, there's LeBlanc, uh, there's Nautilus, um, Irelia, and uh, Lee Sin. But the one with the most, but you can see like Lee Sin doesn't really have like anything moving. The one that moves the most is Ezreal. I mean, obviously, because he's like the poster child, right? So he, he gets the moving hair. Everyone else is just like, it's just like sparks moving around. But whatever, it's a small issue. So yeah, um, besides that, like I said, besides the icon pack and the new, frankly, really good looking uh, design, the rest of the phone is still the same and that's, that's, it's still a pretty good phone. There's also like this uh, special charging animation. So if, if, if I charge it, you see it looks like that. Ah! So it's supposed to, I guess it's supposed to look like champ select, but I don't know. Eh, it's okay, it's okay. But you know, I gotta say, I really dig this, um, this limited edition design. Like, I think this is like one of the best unboxing experiences I've had. And I've had quite a few special unboxing experiences. The only criticism I have for the theme is that, why is there, where's, where's my Riven wallpaper? Hello? That's pretty much it for the smartphone. So um, unfortunately, I don't know whether this smartphone will ever make it out of China. 
for now, I asked Oppo, they said that they don't know, they can't tell when it's coming out. It might make an appearance in Europe, not sure about that either, but for now, it's, uh, I think it's only available in China, so there are 3,000 units, super special. So that's why you can see like the version that I have here doesn't have um, the Google Play Store because uh, this is a China unit, you get the China power brick and stuff like that. But you know, I think that as far as um, limited edition phones go, Oppo does a great job and this is one of my favorite designs so far. Um, and as we approach the finals weekend, you know, I'll be watching it on this phone, probably. I don't know how long I get to keep this smartphone. <laughs> but yeah, um, that is pretty much it. The unboxing experience for the Oppo Find X2 League of Legends Special Edition. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. If you want Oppo Malaysia to bring this into Malaysia, you know, spam their Facebook, uh, Twitter, everything, just like, just pester them until they bring one in lah. Then, then we can have it all also. Alright, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, this quick look uh, at the super cool limited edition uh, smartphone. That's it for this video. I don't have anything else to say already. I think we can, we can just end it here. Alright, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and I'll click on the notification bell icon, you know, so that whenever we post new videos, you always know. You can also like us on Facebook. You can join our Facebook group RKMD for great phone or general recommendations. We also give life advice sometimes, but whether it's very good or not, it's a different story. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!